Hello there, Carpologists. I'm Joe, and today we're going to be taking a look at this, the new ProLogic Commander VX3 Broly system. Now, it's not light. That's the first thing I've noticed. It's 13.4 kilos all in. That's including the heavy-duty ground sheet, the storm poles, the pegs, the whole system in this bag. But they're not claiming it to be light. It's not meant to be a lightweight system. It's meant to be something that's going to last a long time. So let's take it to a swim, set it up, and see what we think about it and all the features it's got. Okay, so first off, as you can see, you've got a heavy-duty bag and uh, two nice, firm, strong straps. Looks like quite an oversized bag, so things are going to fit in and out nice and easy. There's nothing worse than having a bag that's just too small. And once you've got it up once, try and put it back in, it won't fit. So let's see what we've got in here. A nice heavy-duty peg bag. That's really nicely zipped as well. Uh, PVC door option. The full front zip-in system. Heavy-duty ground sheet. Storm poles and the brolly itself. So, as you can probably see from the ripples behind me, it's pretty windy today and it's very, very cold. So I'm gonna get this up as quickly as I can and shelter inside it. Before I peg it out, I'm gonna put in the ground sheet. And the reason for doing that is because the ground sheet zips directly to the inside of the shelter. So normally you've got buckle points on each corner of a shelter or you peg it in with little elasticated loops. This zips in directly to it. So whatever shape this is, is what your ground shape is gonna be. And the reason you can tell where it fits is there's a little blue tab on the back of the ground sheet, which corresponds to a blue tab on the back of the shelter. You join it at the zips there, zip it round and then you can peg it out. One other slight difference with it is that the zip is probably about six, seven inches off the ground. So the reason behind that is so that water ingress isn't possible. If any rain starts going under your shelter, it's not gonna to manage to get over your ground sheet and into your shelter. There's no way it's going to because it's off the ground. I only get it pegged down because the wind's picking up and I need to get this in. Now the brolly also comes with this two piece bar which you go inside and pop on the inner rib on the inside there and on the inside here forward and there you have extra support on the peak to give it that little bit of extra rigidity now as you can see i've set up the brolly system without the front and due to its new shape and design they've removed the rear spine or the rear rib so that you can get a really nice flat back which allows me to push my bed chair all the way to the back and i'm absolutely astonished at how much room there is in front of here uh, you could easily fit your chair in here and do uh, all your bags. There's plenty of room for your mates as well if you did want to have them around when it's pretty grotty weather. But also, because of the new design, they've removed the rear spine and put a new one on the front, which means that the front is extended to give you an extra bit of coverage, especially when you've got the front on. You can have a letterbox window and you've got a bit more protection from the rain that's driving in. I'm now going to zip on the front and show you how it looks when you transform it from the brolly to the full brolly system. Now the door is really simple. You peg it in place at the very corner of the front, attach the zip and work your way around. And when you get to the other end, once again, you peg it in place with the other loop at this end. All in all, probably less than a minute and you've got a front on. Fully protected and nice and sturdy shelter. As you can see, putting the front on took probably less than a minute. And now I'm in here, the space, as you can see, is absolutely incredible. I've got probably another two feet from past my feet until the door. The one last thing I need to do is continue zipping around the ground sheet to attach to the front of the shelter as well. Now the front is fully secured to the ground sheet and I'm really impressed on how sealed of a unit this is. My mates will probably take the piss out of me because I've made one or two comments over the years about how much I despise rats and try and make sure in every way possible they can't get in. And this, I'm pretty sure there's absolutely no way anything's getting in here. So it zips all the way around, as I said, and even the door, the base of the door, velcros and tacks under the ground sheet. So there's absolutely no drafts, no way anything's getting in or out. Now that is a very brief overview of the brolly and then the full system. I'm gonna get some food on now that I'm in the warm and out of the wind, but afterwards I'll talk to you a bit more in depth about all the other features and materials that are used. As stated earlier, thanks to the flat back design, the new range of Commander Brollies propose a vast amount of space, which in turn offers lots of protection from the elements. This room means that it will welcome wide style bed chairs with ease. The material used is ProLogic's new Storm Safe Tex fabric, which has been tested to 10,000 mm hydrostatic head, which will keep you dry in the harshest of conditions. This is accompanied by a coated heavy duty ground sheet. As stated before, the ground sheet zips in place on the inside of the shelter and onto the front panel when in place. The zip is raised above the ground to eliminate any potential water ingress and keeps insects and rats, for example, out as well. 
On the rear there is a mozzie mesh window which will aid airflow throughout the shelter during the warmer months. A front infill panel can be attached to the shelter via the two-way zipper. As shown earlier, this can be put in place in less than a minute to convert the brolly into a full system. The front panel has two large mozzie mesh vents either side of the door to improve airflow and keep the mozzies outside in the warmer months. The door has the option to be solid, clear PVC or mozzie mesh as well. The door features a two-way chunky zip to allow you to escape quickly but also allows you to create a letterbox style window to look out of. Separate to the VX3 Brolly system, you can also purchase a full front mozzie mesh panel which is ideal for the warmer months when you need air circulation but want to keep the mozzies out. The door also features the same two-way zips to allow you to get out quickly but also create a letterbox style window. There you go, everything you needed to know about the ProLogic Commander VX3 60 inch Brolly system. This as it stands to the right of me, with the front comes with it in the ground sheet and all the storm poles, is 399.99 RRP. The mozzie mesh is 49.99 RRP, but obviously you'd want that more in the summer months and not right now, because as you can probably see, it is snowing. I'm very, very cold. For more information, please visit the ProLogic website. Cheers for watching and I'll see you again soon.